Hello guys, and this is my YouTube channel. Um, sorry if I keep on switching like the names over and stuff. I didn't know really what I wanted my YouTube channel name to be. So if you aren't, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, subscribe. Um, hit that thumbs up button if you want more content or if you want more uh, videos. Um, and this is my PlayStation 2 collection that I got and stuff. So, sorry if the camera's a little crappy and, and my voice might be really loud. I'm on a different phone, so it's not going to be the best in the world. So, um, um, so yeah, um, this is my PlayStation 1, or I mean my PlayStation 2 games. This will be like a part one. So, there'll be like multiple parts to it because I got like hundreds of games just for the PlayStation 2. So, I'm going to have to make like s several parts to this video or else it's going to be way too long of a video so um i'm going to try to hit 10 minutes i'll try this time because i got, I got more storage space on this phone so it's pretty cool um now let's get in it and, and the thing is i won't be um because i don't know how to edit i'm new to youtube kind of so um but i've a lot of wa i've watched a lot of people edit and stuff so i know a little bit i just don't have a laptop to edit on yet so I'll be getting one in the future and maybe a camera for Christmas. But, um, anyways, um, so I can't edit like gameplay footage or anything like that. But here's the first game NASCAR Thunder 2002. And I'll just tell you like what I think about the game and how good it is and little key points about it and just a little bit of detail about it and stuff. This game I ended up playing, I ended up picking, picking it up for $1.69. Which is obviously worth more than that because, like, I'll go to, like, a Peddler's Mall or a thrift store or whatever thrift stores are around me or whatever. Or I'll go to, like, um, yard sales, flea market, stuff like that and get them really cheap. Now, this game is a good game and stuff. This is probably, like, the first NASCAR game I ended up playing and stuff. So, it was a good NASCAR game and stuff. Actually, I played NASCAR Thunder 2003. That was the first one I played. But this one was like one of the first. This is like one of the first PlayStation 2 games I actually played. When I first got my PlayStation 2. Because I remember it. So, it's a game that I ended up getting. A long, I had it a long time ago. And then the game ended up getting scratched. And, um, and because when I was real little, I didn't take good care of my games. And. Now I pretty much collect these games and stuff and buy them for like nothing. I'll pay like two or three dollars a game. But um, there's NASCAR Heat 2002. Um, if I didn't mention before, like, comment, subscribe, please, because I need the likes, I need the thumbs up, I need the views. So um, for me to make more content, more videos for you guys, I need I need. I need some subscribers, so if you can subscribe, and I greatly appreciate it. Anyways, enough me ranting and raving about that. NASCAR Heat 2002. This game was like the worst compared to this game and stuff, because like this this game right here made that one look look stupid. Like it made it look like trash, and they were literally came out at the same the same year, and stuff. But it just, it just really, really sucks. It's like almost like Nintendo graphics. And you can tell by the look of it, it, it sucks. You know what I mean? Um, I've actually won a few NASCAR games in, in the, when I played NASCAR. I've, I've won. I've actually gotten like third or second place. So it was pretty cool. Like I was really, really passing them. And then I got Ford Racing number two. So, yeah. Can't remember how much I paid for this. But, like, this game, I didn't like it, though, because, like, the controller, the controls were really, really tough on it and stuff, and that's just my experience with it. And I feel like certain games are like that. The controls are, like, really, really hard to master because, like, when I'll go around turns with these cars and stuff, like, the Mustang right here, the green one, the bullet, that would be the one I'll drive and stuff, but, like, it would be really hard to drive it. Like, the controls were hard for some reason. But then I got um, Ford Racing 3, and I only paid $3 for it. Huh, ain't that funny? 
Um, this game also the controllers the controls were really rough. I don't I don't know why though, and I guess it's just those games that they made and stuff. I I guess it was the way they were made and stuff. They there's like something wrong with them or something. I don't know. And then I get Smuggler's Run for the PlayStation Two, and it's made by Rockstar Games, which a lot of people from what I heard like this game a lot. Now you're gonna be like timed and you have to like know where to go and stuff. It tells you like where to go and stuff and stuff like that. And you'll be like in a race or you'll be doing a challenge or something. So pretty cool. Um, this game right here is ATV Off Road Fury Two for the PlayStation Two. Now I'll show you the back of it. Now this game, I loved playing this one growing up. And you can see I only paid like $5 for it if it'll focus. Well, it's kind of out of focus a little bit. But this game, growing up, I ended up playing it a lot. And I remember this train that would always come by every time. Like every other, like five minutes once you were playing the game. It would come back and stuff. I would literally try to jump the front of the train because it had like this ramp attachment to the front of the train so you could literally ramp it and stuff and i remember doing that and i remember like playing multiplayer and the other character or whoever was playing with me and stuff because i i did a rule where i wouldn't let them see my screen because i, I kind of that's cheating if they looked off my part of the screen but anyways we i would always hide in the train or like the where they hide the coal and stuff the coal bins or whatever the heck they're called. And then this game, I ended up also paying $5 for it. It's NASCAR Thunder 2004, which has Jeff Gordon on the front of it, I believe. I believe that's Jeff Gordon, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong on that. Um, that was also a good game and stuff. You had better graphics. You had like the... um. Next game I'm going to show you, you had like the NASCAR Thunder 2003 graphics. And that's what I'm getting to. The guy, Darren Hart Jr. The Jr. And you can see his fingers pointed up like we can do this. We're number one. Everybody else sucks. That's pretty much how he is. He's like a legend. He, like his dad was even a legend. There's Midnight Club 2, which I can't show you anything because it's just a pamphlet or thing. But the game's actually in there. You can slightly hear it. Midnight Club 2 was also a Rockstar Games game. So, um, and then it, it was a pretty good game and stuff. I didn't like the first one or the second one just because of graphics. I do like the Midnight Club 3, which I don't have. It's a dub edition one. I do not currently have that one, and I really want it, though, because I played that one before. And then there's NASCAR 2007. So, and that game, I've honestly never got around to playing it, but it's like the newer NASCAR game. It's like the last NASCAR game they made for the PlayStation 2. And then there's Midnight Club Street Racing, which that's Midnight Club 1. Which, like I said, the graphics kind of suck, but um, you can't expect much on these old PlayStation 2 games. You can't expect the graphics to be perfect. But anyways, and also Rockstar made that game. Um, there's NASCAR 06 Total Team Control. This game I don't like because right as you play, you gotta like switch cars with somebody or something. And you gotta like switch cars with like your rival or the person that's like your sponsor or whatever. But it's like someone else's someone else that's racing around the track you gotta like catch them in time and stuff it's just it's really confusing and stuff how it actually works but you gotta actually play the game a lot to know there's dt racer so pretty cool pretty cool racing game it's like a street racing game it's it's almost, it's almost like midnight club but you just not really it's like your cheaper version then I got NASCAR Chase the Cup. This game I like because honestly, there's a um, there's a fact you guys didn't know about this game, but it has um, Kevin Harvick on the front. But believe it or not, it has Darren Hart 
senior in this game. Like, he actually has his card you can actually play. And you can actually play his, you could play his character and his card. And the thing is, he died in 2001. But they, but they put it in that game in 2005. You know what I mean? Because he was such a good NASCAR driver and stuff. He was like a legend. So, that's a little key fact about that game. That I bet a lot of people didn't know about. And then there's Matt Hoffman's Pro Skate. Pro, I'm at, my bad, I'm thinking of um, Tony Hawk. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2. And you can tell I only paid 99 cents for it. It's obviously worth probably like a couple more dollars than what, what I paid for it. Now this game, I know what I know it's worth what I paid for it. Because I paid a lot for it than I normally do. And I bought it from an actual video game store. Five ninety nine from TF Games. Net car Disney Pixar Cars Mater National Championship. I like the one Mater game. It didn't. It had Mater in it, but you could like play the other characters besides Mater and stuff, which I'm sure you could do that in this game too. Like you could play as monster trucks. I like they got little Monsters Inc. little monster truck features thing. That's pretty cool. So they have other characters besides. They have, like, the Disney Pixar characters in it, too. That is dope. I'm going to have to play that sometime. Now, there's ATV Off-Road Fury 3, and it is a $4 game. Obviously, I paid that for it. It's probably worth that, honestly. So, I picked it up fairly cheap. This game I like. It has a really good soundtrack in it, really good music and stuff. So, um... So is ATV Off-Road Fury 2. And Off-Road Fury 4 took it to the next level. I'll get to that in a minute. But um, this, this game is pretty cool. But the thing that sucks about this is you can't... Well, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys what I mean by that in a minute. I don't want to spoil it. Well, now I'm going to show you guys. Off-Road... ATV Off-Road Fury 4 was like the best one. The last one they made and stuff. And it was phenomenal it had a good soundtrack you could like free roam do jumps but the thing is you could also drive trucks and dirt bikes and four wheelers and you could drive like buggies and stuff like volkswagen buggies and stuff um like side by sides and stuff so it was it was much more than that like they took it to the next level they add more than just atvs to it like you know what i mean even though it says offer ATV Offered Fury, it they took it to the next level. So and I feel like they should make an ATV Offered Fury five. I feel like they should bring it back and make like a reboot or whatever or a remastered version. They should make it on the PS five and the Xbox. I, I feel like they should do that and, and make it really cool. But it's like you, you could upgrade more with it. You know, I mean, you can make put tire pressure in it. You could do whatever and be more realistic too now there's super trucks racing which this game's kind of in rough condition i got it from a friend of mine so all you're doing is racing like semis pretty much but they're like racing semis um so i think that's pretty cool um there's nascar dirt to daytona this is a good game because you can actually race on dirt and stuff with like the cars you got like the truck you got the car you got the demolition car over here you could do demolition derby or whatever where you could like crash into the other people and stuff on dirt on a dirt track so that that's what takes this game to the next level and i think is everything's all unlocked in this game as soon as you play it it should be um i'm trying to same creators as nascar heat that game i already have that i mentioned that was garbage this one was phenomenal, though. This is a good game. I, I recommend, if you find this, pick it up, because it's a good game. Here's Burnout. Um, Burnout. I don't know too much about the Burnout series. I've never really played this game yet. There's a whole lot of PlayStation 2 games I never really got into playing. But I've sat there and watched other people on YouTube play them. So um, I know a little bit. But, like, Burnout series, you, you can, like, wreck in the cars, and it, like, does some damage and stuff. Um, you can see on the back, like, the, wind, the windshield get bust out, and you can, like, drift and avoid traffic and stuff. It's pretty cool. And then there's Corvette 
50th anniversary. Only paid 99 cents for it. It's obviously worth like a good two or three dollars more than what I paid for it. Now this game is Jet Jet X 2.0, and this game is honestly really really weird. It has like a weird character thing. He, he looks like he's cracked out on drugs or something. Like you can tell he he doesn't even look that good. He's like, let's go, let's do this. But but he looks so cracked out and like it looks kind of scary the way he looks and stuff. But like you can do like jumps and stunts and stuff while being on a jet ski so it's pretty cool then there's ihr a motorsport drag racing 2 um i'm not a big fan of the drag racing games it's okay but it's not the best but you can drag race like with old cars and and those type of race car things the simulator and formula cars and this game, I don't really know why I added it to the list of games because it's not really a racing game, sort of say. It's but it's by Rockstar Games. And a lot of people don't know that Rockstar Games actually made this game. It's a surfing game, but like you, I guess you can kind of as a racing game because you can do like stunts and you can do jumps and stuff. So I guess you could count that as a racing game, and you could do like tournaments with other players or whatever, but. Other than that, I don't really count that as a racing game, really. I really don't. I don't know why I added it. Snowcross 2 is a really cool game. It's almost like Jet Moto, but you're on snow. You're on a snowmobile, and um, you also do jumps and stunts, and you'll reach, like, targets, try to reach targets and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And then there's Splashdown. That's all it says, Splashdown. I only paid 99 cents for that also. Um... And you're pretty much on a jet ski also trying to just like capture the flag. You can see there's a flag right there and just stuff like that. It's a pretty good game. And then there's Suzuki TT super bikes, real road racing. So it's like you're riding a motor. It's like you're riding like a motorcycle, like a um, Kawasaki Ninja or whatever the heck it's called or the Suzuki um, motorbike things. I got a friend in my neighborhood that actually has one and stuff, and he rides it everywhere because he don't have a car and stuff, and that's literally all he rides. So, um, and this is the same thing, pretty much. Handsbury 10K, K, Honda Superbike World Championship. That was kind of hard to say all at once. But it's made by the same people as that other Superbike commercial. Or, I mean, that other Superbike game. I don't know why I say commercial. But, see, I only paid like a dollar for it. So, like I said, I can get them pretty, fairly cheap. And then there's like another sports game. Another motorbike game. Tourist Trophy. The Real Racing Simulator. Which was a dollar ninety nine. So pretty much, it's like it's an actual simulator. Like they teach you how to ride it and stuff. Like how, like they'll do like a um, they'll do like a let's play. Like they'll show you how to like do the course and stuff. There'll be like courses you can do. Now this game, I did like this game growing up. Motocross Mana Three. I don't know where the first one is or where the second one is. I've never seen them on the shelf except for these. Whenever I. I I find a lot of these, but not the first and second one for some reason. So, did they not make a first one? Did they not make a second one? I don't know. But, Motocross Mana 3. And this game, you got like weapons. You can see he has a, a bat. Look at those boobies. She got some nice freaking cans. Anyways, um, this game, you can like hit your opponents and stuff. While winning a race, you could hit them and they can not and they can fall off the bike. But you also got to jump across traffic and stuff. And there's like a health bar thing on there. So like if you, so like if you um, so if you can't like get the health bar, you gotta like get it before you like die and stuff. I've never died, but like my energy or like there's like an energy health bar thing. So that's a whole thing. Now this game is ATV Off Road Fury. One, so this game I only picked up for like two, three dollars a long, long time ago, like six or seven years ago. 
That, that, that tells you how old I am. No, I'm just joking. Um, but this is a good game. This is the first series of the Off-Road Fury series. This started it. So, um, by the way, it was a pretty good game. I just like the newer ones better. I like the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. But you also got now the first games when they first came out with like the first one and then the second one and the third one. The first one's not always going to be the best. Just, just letting you know that with like video games and stuff. Well, now, like, it's, even today, games suck. Like, you know I mean? They might not be the best in the world. So, but I'm going to end this video. So, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.